Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex. Awesome that you guys are watching Tunis' new OBS tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to stream on Twitch, how to stream like without lags and good quality. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, we're on OBS and I'm going to show you guys the right settings to uh, uh, stream on HD on Twitch. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to speedtest.net. You want to do a speed test and keep in mind your upload speed. You want to go to the OBS uh, estimator and this thing recommends uh, like the settings you need based on what you have okay so we're gonna keep in mind the upload speed so we're gonna select what we have so i have a i have an i7 processor and the graphics card is a uh, amd radeon and the game i'm streaming is like i think minecraft so let's say battlefield that's really as high end game so we're just gonna high motion and then right here you want to put in your upload so you don't want to put in like 3.5 but 3500 if it's so my upload speed is like about 4500 like 4.5 so i'm going to type in 4500 you want to select the, the resolution of your screen uh, which mine is 920 by 1080 and then you just want to go to recommend settings and as you can see right here everything pops up you need to know to stream in hd so i can stream in 30 fps i need to um put the fps to 60 they're actually recommending you what to do so for the game advice try to aim for the high Highest bit rate possible for high motion games. Use game capture if possible for maximum performance. Use window capture with iron enabled if game capture is unavailable. And then in terms of you know getting no lag, everything has to do with it. So as you can see, your upload speed is significant for 720 1080p. If you have above like I think 4,000 or like 3,500, you can stream in 720 or 1080p. You just want to enable the CFR. You also want to enable the CBR for improved stream stability. And then the recommended bit rate is 3,500. And also and now we're gonna take this information into OBS so we're gonna go back to OBS I'm gonna go to settings and right now we can just gonna go to encoding so the maximum bit rate it was 3500 as you can see right here and also this one we have enabled CBR and CFR as you can see we did everything that it said I'm gonna go to broadcast settings and this you want to pick a live stream you want to pick Twitch. I always use uh, San Francisco, uh, California. To be able to stream on your account, you need your stream key. You can find this one on the dashboard on your Twitch account. So I'm going to go to my dashboard on Twitch. All right, so as you can see, I'm on the dashboard on Twitch. And right now you want to get the code by clicking on the stream code. And then this window pops up. And this is actually the key you want to type in in OBS. So make sure you never share your key with anyone else because if they get your key, they can stream on your account. So we just want to click on show key. Yes, all the warnings, never share your stream key, whatever. I understand. And as you can see, here's my stream key. I'm going to blur it out, of course, for the editing. What you want to do is just want to click on, you just want to copy everything. Press control C, go back to OBS and place it in this stream key path that's basically it the auto reconnect timeout is like three seconds if you're going offline it already connects again in three seconds and then you just want to leave everything how this is so that's it for the broadcast settings uh, part we're gonna go to yeah we'll save it you want to go to video you want to choose your graphics card and uh, you want to choose your graphics card. You don't want to downscale your resolution. FPS, put on 30. You can put it on 60 if you want to. And then for audio, pick the speakers that we have, which is this one, Realtek, high definition audio. And this is going to be your microphone. In my webcam, I have a, uh, in the, in, like in the Logitech C920, I have a microphone, but that isn't like great at all. So I just got an external one, which is the Samsung CO1U Pro microphone. I'm just going to pick this. If you want to boost up your um, microphone because if it's too soft you can just gonna mic boost you're gonna click I, I don't think you should be able to uh, put it higher than three or else everything is gonna be really soft and your voice is gonna be clipping all the way and if you want to boot everything else from the music or the sounds of your computer you want to just bring this up so when that's done the only thing is yes I want to save it the only thing is you just want to uh, leave this on normal you want to put this on 700 uh, you want to put this on normal uh, this the x264 CPU is very fast encoding profile is main and the keyframe interval is two and then you use cfr and then you want to leave everything down here just how it is and basically then you press on ok and now the only thing you need to do to go live is click on start streaming so that is how simple it is guys so if you want to see more of those obs tutorials every tuesday at 12 p.m pst does 9 p.m ct feel free to subscribe down below if, if you find this video helpful uh, make sure to smash that like button down below so i want to thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week so until then i'll see you guys very soon
we're gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LDHH Official, as yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just gonna start streaming live. First question for today. So that's gonna be through this hall, it's gonna be pretty dark. So we have the door. You check your calendar, your question. I'll see you guys in the next video.